Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is the second issue of Fantastic Four Grand Design, wrapping up the series, two-issue series, uh, by Tom Scioli. And it's been a very interesting one. Um, I both really appreciate it and really dislike it at the same time. Uh, for anyone that has saw my uh, review of the first issue, I, I didn't like it. Like, there's a lot of stuff I appreciated about it. Again, um, the, the, the effort put into it, the style, like, what was attempted, I think the execution to me fell really, really short. The idea behind Grand Design, it started with the X-Men, uh, and the the Grand Design for the X-Men was kind of like compressing the X-Men history into a couple volumes, uh, but what was different with that is it wasn't just a retelling of the history, it actually kind of had a, like a thesis about it, saying like this era had these themes, and this is kind of uh, what things revolved around. This, Fantastic Four Grand Design, kind of jettisons that concept and instead really focuses on just telling the history of Fantastic Four. This goes from uh, the coming of Galactus to the end of, of uh, Franklin doing some time travel, um, some weird stuff that kind of makes things a little circular and, and makes sense with the first issue, um, but it's... I don't think it ever quite clicks. Just like the first issue, uh, design-wise, uh, graphic-wise, it's really, really great. Um, my problem with it is that it never quite feels like it completes thoughts. There is lots of snippets, and it hops from like one plot to next plot to next plot, next next plot, and things will go from like one panel to another with like no transition. Um, and it just kind of jumps. Um, I think a really great example of that is towards the end. This panel here talks goes from Peter getting rid of his uh, black symbiote suit to uh, Nanny controlled by Mephisto. And there you can see there's just goes from like one straight to the other with like no transition or thought kind of connecting them at all. Um, so it just feels like a jumble of plot points that never quite has a narrative to itself or any uh, flow. However, the design-wise is really cool. You can see there that this, the, all the pages kind of have this like distressed, worn, old-school look, and you can see the number of panels on the pages are insane. That, the amount that's packed in here is, is really, really great, and um, I would say the series as a whole kind of suffers in that one. It probably could have used... Uh, another issue or two and be able to decompress the stuff a little bit, uh, but the other is um, it doesn't quite have that like thesis going on. Like you, there's this there's this kind of circular thought to it, which is interesting, but it uh, it feels a little bit more like M Night Shyamalan twist at the end as opposed to like here's what the Fantastic Four is about and here's what this era is about and here's what this era is about. And I'm going to kind of show off what that's what that is. So, or just the Fantastic Four is about this going through all these errors. So, cool art, cool concept. I just don't like the execution and and the narrative. I don't quite want to see narrative. Um, I think there's just it's it's done better. The X Men grand designs are way better. The the Marvel history comics that are coming out are way better. Um, it's just, just this is for the Fantastic Four fans. It's out in comic shops now. You can go get it. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell you. Uh, uh, you can go find it for shops near you. Um, no no shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links there uh, below this video. There are affiliate links. Um, but you should really go support your, your shop. We, we don't need the money from the affiliate links. Um, <clears throat> go, go support shops. And speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for getting us up with this review copy. We always appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Now, <coughs> sorry, cold. If you're into Marvel, if you're into Fantastic Four, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Make it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.